Hi, my name is Allison, and I'm here today to talk to you about vaccines. Imagine you're on a soccer team and you want to make it all the way to the championship game. What would you do to make sure you were ready? You would practice, of course. You and your teammates would practice so that when the real game happened, you were ready. Vaccines do the same thing. They let our bodies practice and get strong. That way, when we encounter a real germ, we know exactly what to do. Vaccines are the best protection we have right now against the COVID-19 germ. In order to add the vaccine to your team, to get the vaccine medicine into your body, you will need to get a poke. Usually, it happens in your arm. The vaccine medicine goes from a small plastic tube called a syringe through a needle and into your body. The doctors and nurses who are doing this are very good at their jobs and it doesn't take very long. You're probably wondering what it's like to get a needle stick poke. Well, I've got an expert here who is ready to tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Sarah and I am a child life specialist and I work at University of Michigan Mott Children's Hospital. My role is to help kids cope through procedures and learn about why they might be in the hospital in the first place. And there's a lot of good ways that we do that. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about vaccines. Have you ever had a poke before? Maybe for another medicine that's helping keep your body healthy? Maybe when you visited your doctor? Even if you've never had a poke before, there are things that you can do to choose to make yourself more comfortable during the poke. Sometimes when I get nervous and everybody gets nervous, I like to take slow, deep breaths and I listen to the sound of my breathing and that really helps me feel in control and really relaxed. You could also bring something that's gonna help you feel comfortable. And as a child life specialist, we have a lot of tools that we bring and introduce you to, to help you do that. You might have a stuffed animal or a lovey that maybe you brought to the hospital one day or to your doctor's appointment, or maybe you have a squeeze ball. If you don't, I usually always have one with me. This really helps us. We squeeze it, it makes funny sounds, and it helps distract us from what might be going on in our arm or in our leg during a poke. You might even have a favorite book that you're reading, or you might even know about this guy, Buzzy. Now Buzzy, we put right on your arm when you have your poke. And what it does is it vibrates, and you feel the vibration instead of the poke. It's pretty neat. Now the doctors and the nurses who give you the poke are really, really good at their jobs. They've been doing it for a really long time and it only takes a couple of seconds. So counting one, two, three, while it's happening really helps and it helps you remember it's not gonna last forever. On that second count, you take a deep breath in and on three, the poke happens, you exhale and it's over. Those are some great ideas. Thanks for those. Now, these are a lot of good ideas and you might even want to make a plan and practice this with your family and friends or even stuffed animals at home before the big day. And when it's all over, you'll be part of the strongest team in the world. Congratulations on doing something that felt hard, for persevering and for choosing to keep your body healthy.